Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse, a.k.a. BGFH, and I am back for another iOS Low Vision Spotlight game video. This time we're looking at a racing game that has been out for quite some time, but for whatever reason, I've just ignored it or haven't really looked into it, whatever. I've known about it for quite some time. As I've said in other videos, I've kind of been playing Real Racing 3 off and on, and that's kind of been my mobile game, my mobile racing game of choice for quite a while. And then Maximum Car, which was, and still is, one of my go-to just fun <clears throat> arcade racers. But we are going to be looking at, this time, we're going to be looking at a game called Asphalt 8 Airborne. And this series has been around for quite some time, actually. A lot of times, like, it started out originally, I think, on the, the Nintendo DS. And then it went to, like, the PlayStation Portables. And then it eventually came to iOS and Android, mobile, Windows 10, that kind of a thing. <clears throat> and uh, I keep going, one need, not need for speed. Asphalt 8 Airborne is definitely an, it's an arcade racer, so if you're looking for a sim, you're definitely not going to find that here. Um, and it's kind of funny that it's been out since, I think, 2014-ish or so. And I'm just now really kind of diving into it myself. I mean, it's, it goes to show they've actually been updating the game continuously with content... Originally, when it was released, it was a premium game. I don't know what it used to cost, <clears throat> but you could actually buy the game. Now it is a free-to-play game, and with that, of course, comes some of the monetization, free-to-play baggage, garbage, nonsense. But let's jump into it here. Uh, it's a Game Loft game, and Game Loft is kind of known for their at least to me anyway, they take like a AAA gaming franchise or game concept or genre and they kind of mobilize it. They really seem to specialize in like the mobile versions. Like they'll take, you know, a little bit of Need for Speed, a little bit of Burnout, a little bit of whatever, and they'll come up with the Asphalt games. Uh, early on on the iPad 2, one of my first games I ever played on the iPad was I can't remember the name of it but it was like this kind of third person Zelda-esque third person game and you know for what it was it wasn't bad but you know kind of generic but anyway Asphalt 8 it is an arcade racing game you see this little buggy car kind of thing this is a special event car uh, that there's I guess a special event going on and I could race that. Actually, I can show you that for now. Uh, I think I can. Yeah, so... Let's play. And then I'll... That way we'll go through a race here first. And then I'll... Then I'll kind of go through the interface with you a little bit. So, basically I'm choosing a car. Before every race, you can choose some some of these like perks. You can um, you can put like extra nitrous in, or I haven't even really looked at some of these extra boosts and stuff. I'm really not. I'm gonna try not to use these unless I really have to, because I don't want to waste my in-game money or credits on this stuff. So I'm gonna be using an auto. There's a lot of different control modes for this. There's manual and auto acceleration. There's on-screen like button turning and tilt turning. And I'm, I'm not going to be able to talk here. This game is stupid fast. Especially with this car. Alright, so I can do nitro. And I, of course I'm running first person as you can tell. You see my ghost car up there from earlier today. Those are nitrous packs. Uh, nitrous bottles. Ugh, dang it! Oh, it did. I'm not the problem is I'm not used to the turning on this car. Yeah. Okay, we're taking the highway, apparently. 
Okay. Well, yeah, this car is super fast. I'll explain more of what's going on with like the controls. How you doing? Oh God. Failed. Dang it. Well, I got, you know what? I got further than I normally did, even though I, I biffed it one time. So this is of course a fixed track game. Retry one gold or one token thing. Eh, we'll try it. We'll try it one more time. I'm trying to get my <clears throat> trying to warm up a little bit here. Alright, so if I can avoid that initial crash that I for whatever reason I sort of I tend to crash fairly early on on this track just because of the way this car handles and I don't know if I'm expecting the road to go a different way than it is for some reason, but I seem to consistently wipe out. Oh, I should have got those. There we go. Oh god, yeah, I knew that was not going to get back on track. Okay, this is... This is going to go poorly. Gotta catch up to my ghost. My ghost car. Oh! Oh yeah, smash right... Oh, okay, it's, we're getting worse. I'm just not used to the... Like, you... The thing with this game, is, or with this particular car is the handling is so sensitive. Um, partially with the sensitivity that I have the controls set to, but partially this particular car is like, you cannot tilt it hardly at all. You gotta be super subtle. All right, well, let's do next. Um, that was really poor. Maybe I earned a couple bucks. All right, so let us go back. Here is our main, main screen here. And across the top, you've got, um, you got my profile. You've got a couple of different types of currency, you see. You've got these kind of, these gold coin things. And of course, you've got your gems, your premium currency, of course. Um, the little car bike thing. It lets you, I believe, switch between like a car bike mode, which I just unlocked some motorcycle races, and whew, I think if I were to play those more, I'm gonna have to adjust my tilt sensitivity because I am, <laughs> it's really hard, and I am horrible at that. We've got settings here, little gear up in the right-hand corner. I'll go there real quick. You got all kinds of different stuff here. So the interface, I wouldn't recommend if you're low vision playing this on a phone just because it is, it would be really small. But I mean, for the buttons here, the contrast is good. Uh, I'm playing on the iPad Pro, of course, and not too bad, not too bad. I can actually read, um, you know, read this text. Um, and I did go under the... I did go under the controls. Um, I can go there just to show you. So I have the tilt sensitivity set up really high because that's originally what I needed. And I'm doing an auto accelerate kind of a thing. And I tilt. You can do like a manual steering wheel on the left. You can do a touch controlling where you touch either side. Um, so you have some options there. Um, and then you have your loot boxes. We'll get into that in a little bit. But in the bottom right-hand corner, you've got to play. <clears throat> now, this is a free-to-play game. And you notice that we haven't had any ads yet. Um, I think in somehow I may have gotten rid of them. I'm not exactly sure what I did. I'm pretty sure I know what caused it. But when I started this early well one of the things that was really turning me off is if you don't put any money into the game 
<laughs> you're going to get ads all the time. I mean, literally, <clears throat> if you stay in the menu system for too long, a minute or two, you're going to get another ad. After every race, you're going to get an ad. Um, and I bought because I, I, I played it a little bit and I liked what I played, even though it didn't. I don't think it really said specifically. Let's go into the the currency stuff. I'll show you that first. So I can buy across now across the bottom we have different tabs. I can buy these different gold coins all the way up to your $99 best value. Um, but you can buy that if you want. Uh, you got token packs. These are your your gems, your premium currency. I haven't bought any of these yet. You have some car packs. I bought the Starters car pack, which was five bucks. I figured, you know, for five bucks, I could do that. Get a support the developer. Get a um, get a few cars to start out, other than the one that I got originally, and I bought one other one in the game. But I think in doing so, must have triggered like a premium a premium sort of deal where I haven't seen ads since, which I am total. I wish they were a little bit more <clears throat> explicit up front that buying a premium pack would unlock some of that. Um, but I'm really glad that it did because I mean, it was, like I said, it was really getting, I think, intrusive. And of course you got some sort of like these loot boxes you can buy for, different amounts of gems or coins. Um, they have to tell you what the rarity is or what kind of items you're going to get. The main problem that I have with free to play mobile, um, any combination of those is just the fact that, <clears throat> you know, it's, we've, I think long past the line of, you know, I, I'm not just buying a car pack a lot of times, or I'm not just buying new levels, new tracks, new whatever. Uh, from a season pass <clears throat> and now the market is really shifting toward like a you're buying consumable items for one you're paying real money for some arbitrary fake money in a lot of cases that the fake money isn't worth much in game so you have to keep forking it over forking it over forking it over you got to keep paying for all this crap um, and then you have loot boxes on top of that where basically you're getting some random set of items, you know, could be, you know, in this case, it could be parts, it could be these perk things, it could be some extra nitrous, could be whatever. But I mean, a lot of these games, even premium AAA games, <clears throat> like your Star Wars Battlefront 2 last year had this. And it's just getting way too invasive, way too common. And it's just, to me, it just feels like you're really trying to exploit the gamer. You're exploiting the end user. Um, and, you know, you can do a free-to-play thing well, but you really got to walk a decent line and, you know, let the player enjoy the game. And, you know, like I said, you can pay some money. I'm okay with that. Matter of fact, if you enjoy the game and even if it is free, do pay for some kind of a full unlock you know I bought a car pack because I like the game and I want to support the developer um, so paying 5 10 20 bucks even on mobile I have no problem with that if it's something I'm gonna come back to sure but I mean to literally demand in a lot of titles like I keep going back to real racing 3 but one of the reasons I stepped away from that was because you know, you had to buy cars, but then you had to, uh, you had to upgrade them and you had to upgrade each component, component of these cars, like several times to even be competitive. And where I'm at right now, I could easily spend $100 real money to buy a car and I might be able to upgrade a couple of things, but with that $100, I wouldn't even be able to buy and fully upgrade one car, let alone um, multiple cars, especially later in the game. So 
And I rant about this because for a couple reasons. Partly because I just feel it's wrong to a large degree. And especially like a game like this. When we get into the real campaign of the game here in a minute or two, I really like this game. Like the gameplay itself, the presentation, the audio, the video, um, the gameplay, it's fun. And I want to play it. So don't put, like, some of these mobile games, some of these free to play games, I think their worst enemy is the games themselves. And I feel bad for some of the developers because I, I can't imagine most of the developers themselves I mean it's probably a lot of the publishers and marketing of you know that's where the monetization goes like if you're if we're gonna front your game if we're gonna promote your game if we're gonna finance your game you have to do this and you have to you know monetize it a certain way it, sometimes it almost feels like well let's see we want to make a game with this monetization scheme Okay, devs, let's see, what um, what kind of game can you make around that? I want a racing game, so here's our financial model. Make something around it. That's kind of what it feels like sometimes with modern games, and it really sucks. Um, but I digress. Um, I rant because I care. Because I want these games to be good. So you, like, you have all kinds of different categories. They even have... Uh, what tab is it under? There's one of these that has, yeah, <laughs> under the, you can actually, believe it or not, this top one is not $8.99. It is $8.99 a month. Yes, you can pay a subscription fee for benefits to this mobile game. I'm not going to typically buy a subscription for even, you know, that's why I don't play games like World of Warcraft. I just don't have time to devote for them even if I wanted to. And no, I'm not going to pay a subscription fee. Um, but I had to show you that. So there's your currency, there's your stuff. Thankfully, because I did buy a car pack, the ads do seem to be gone. And like I said, if you just play the free version, you are going to get annoyed. It's going to be intrusive. Because um, they're frequent, let me tell you. So here's our main, I went to play, here's our main menu. We have uh, multiplayer, which is live multiplayer. I haven't played it yet because I don't have near enough unlocked, and I'm probably going to just get my butt kicked. You have some other play options. And I've poked around in here a little bit. Uh, you can do a, like a quick solo race. You can do, I don't know what this uh, mastery thing is. I haven't gone in there. I'm guessing it's some sort of like a training unlock mastery. Oh, okay. I got to unlock it. Uh, okay, whatever. But if I go, so this is kind of neat because I can choose each little column here. I can choose a certain, like a race type. I can choose a track. I can choose like how many laps or a classic. Um, and we're probably, well, I might come back there just to show you some other tracks. And I spend most of my time, as most people probably will, in career mode in the upper right hand corner of this grid. Oh, I forgot to mention in the bottom middle, you do have your daily challenges type of things. You have like your vehicle, your events, and your multiplayer challenges. I haven't really dug into this too much, but it's a way that you can get some other rewards. Each one of these says tap to go. So I could try to do some of that. Um, I probably should because you, if you can do some of them, you might get some decent payouts. We'll come back there. Uh, let's do career. So here is your grid of career events. And you have all kinds of different types of things. There are regular races, there are eliminations, there are, I think, head-to-heads, there are some, oh, what do they call them? They're not called takedowns, but, um, the, it, it, but one of the reasons I really like this game, gameplay-wise, is because if you follow me on Twitter, at BGFH79, by the way, if you follow me on Twitter or even 
watched some of my previous uh, videos, you know I've been just really jonesing for a Burnout 3 or Burnout Revenge revival on, you know, backwards compatibility. I would love for that to happen. Because I'm an arcade racing game fan. I like the aggressive style, not just racing, but like aggressive racing, physically just mm, taking down the opponents. I love that. And this game does that. Let's jump into a race here. I'm going to do the first race just because I'm, I'm good at it and I can show you uh, what that is like. So we're going to choose. Now, here's an interesting thing. You s remember on, that, on the uh, track that we already did, you saw the ghost racers. I can enable a ghost for these tracks to kind of give you at least a line to follow. You know, you can probably do, of course, you can do better than the CPU racing line. But if you, you can kind of follow, uh, use it as a guide to kind of get you through, okay, I want to see what the silver ghost or the gold ghost, uh, you know, first or second or third place ghosts, you can add those into your races. So if you're having trouble with a new track, visually, that's kind of a nice little thing. I don't want, well, I, I guess, no, let's, I want this car. I, this car has been working pretty well early on. So each time you have this screen here, you can enable stuff. All right, here we go. This is a real race in Nevada. And so we're just gonna play some races here. We're gonna play a few races, win some cash, because there's a car that I wanna unlock so I can use for some events. Oh, okay, boom, right there. Take down. Oh, come on, hit him, hit him. Oh, you're going to be that one, okay. Uh-oh. So, originally when I started playing this, I was kind of discouraged based on the controls because what was happening... Uh-oh. Is you tilt to steer, but that's only part of it. What I find is if you... I'm tapping the bottom right to do boosts, and I'm tapping the bottom left to do kind of like a handbrake. And the handbrake is actually really handy for taking tighter corners because tilting just isn't quite good enough. Ha <laughs> ha! Take you down, son. And you can do near misses with traffic. So you can earn some boosts. So here I'm gonna. Not the smoothest, but I avoided hitting the wall at the very least with the handbrake. I want to, of course, collect these air, uh, canisters here. All right, we're going to catch some air here in a moment. Whee! There we go. And let's catch some more air, shall we? Here we go. And we'll do a little, uh, oh, there we go. So it does go third person uh, when you're doing certain types of jumps or obstacles. And I can play in third person, but again, I just, for whatever reason, I prefer this sort of bumper cam. I prefer, see here, you're gonna get to see the car. This is what it normally looks like. So you get that sort of third person camera angle. And finish. There we go. Only got a couple takedowns, but I think they call them knockdowns actually, because they can't use takedown, that's a burnout thing. All right, so I think I've gotten all five. Ooh, okay, we've got a new ghost, it looks like. Uh, a new personal best award, or awesome, okay. 218. Alright, cool. That track is pretty fun. So there's your standings. You earn some gold. You earn some rewards. Now, just like any free-to-play, you can double your payout if you do want to manually watch an ad. Which, you know, is... I can't necessarily fault that 
I wish when you did buy the full game, it would just give you the better value. Like if you, let's say you put enough in, maybe you pay five bucks to get rid of the intrusive ads. And then if you pay 10 bucks, it would give you the greater event value without needing to watch an ad. You know, maybe like a tiered system like that. I would be okay with something like that. Okay, so we got all, th so in addition to the three stars that you get for bronze, silver, and gold, there are apparently some objectives that you can get in the tracks and to earn your other two stars. This, this one only got four. Let's go into this third track here. And yeah, let's just do another race. This is another race. And then I'll try to do a couple of other types of events. Iceland. This is a fun track. I just gotta remember it here. Ooh! Mm. Ha ha! Yes! Come to Papa. Ha <laughs> ha Yes, taking three of them down. That never gets old. That is why I like Burnout. That is why I like this type of arcade racing game. Um, this is the kind of gameplay that I've been talking about in other videos. You know, fast arcadey handling. And, of course, the ability to take other drivers down. And being rewarded for it. Because, you know, even in simulation games, you know, um, a lot of, especially simulation games, they try to, you know, encourage clean driving. You know, don't rub against other players, don't knock into them. You actually get uh, rewarded for playing that way. Uh, you know, even in Forza, when you watch those videos, you know, I said, I'm not, a, I'm not opposed to, um, you know, doing a little bit of rubbing or bashing into the cars to get around the corner. Because, again, I'm more of an arcade -y racer fan. And, uh, so, yeah, I'm not opposed to doing that. And when you get rewarded for it and, like, you see the car just spin out of control and just burst into flames, that kind of a thing, it's fun. It's super satisfying. And I think with the way we jumped the gun at the start here, if I don't completely mess this up, we should be looking pretty good. Like, I just... We got in the pack early. You start out with one nitrous, or nitro. And... You can just go to town, like... I just messed up the pack pretty good. Um, I just hope that we don't get some cars coming from behind and be like, oh, guess what? Rubber band AI, here we go. Which could happen. Grab another nitro container. I'm going to save it in case something like that does happen. Knock on wood. Ah, oh, look at what we got here. Douche. So we still do want to... Oh, yeah. oh, oh, okay, yeah, we can go in these little canyons here. Uh, we can try to make things interesting. Uh, I can stay down in the valley. Or... Let's take some jumps, shall we? Whee! There we go. There's our finish line right ahead. Oh no! Oh, you, you, did you, you did, you son of a, mm, I saw him, I was right before the finish line going, you didn't. Huh, speak of the devil, and I said, rubber band AI. Still fun though. I mean, I already got gold on it, so. Ugh. This type, this type of music, I don't enjoy this dubstepy, techno-y kind of garbage. I don't like it, admittedly. All right, so we still got four out of there. Um, I could do. I think this might be an elimination one. 
We use a different car because we have to for this class. And I just want to show you a different track. Oh, this is Iceland again. Oh, I thought this was going to be Tokyo. All right, well, we'll see how this goes. All right. Smash them. Okay, yeah, I'm just not getting, not getting fast enough. And if you've noticed, there are multiple pathways for a lot of these tracks. Um, there's different, you can take a left path, a right path, and some of those actually are nice shortcuts. Some of them are actually longer, so you want to choose. Um, you know, some might be more treacherous than others, but give you more rewards. Let's use this ramp so we can get some... Nitrous and boom! Yeah! That's what we require. So the core racing in this is a lot of fun. I'm really glad that I finally got around to playing this. Funny enough, uh, now that I'm starting to play Asphalt 8, believe it or not, um, there I saw something on, I believe it was App Spy earlier this week as I'm recording this, where they're doing a soft launch in, I forget what other country it is, for Asphalt 9. And there... Oh, God. No. Oh. There is a... An off-road spin-off of the Series 2, which I might take a look at. I think it's called Asphalt Extreme? And that's kind of like your... Even crazier, like, off-road... I wouldn't say rally, but like if you played Motorstorm on the PlayStation 3, something like that, maybe. And the airborne part of this, I love when you get, there's some tracks where you just, you seriously do catch some major air. Ooh. I just want to keep using boosts if I can because I don't want that car to come up on me from behind. Okay, we got nitrous. Let's go. Oh god, no! Ooh, that was sloppy. I didn't turn that right. At least I didn't fully wipe out. I didn't wreck. Okay, we're gonna stay down in the canyon this time because I think this is one of the instances where you probably don't wanna jump because getting in the air, getting air time actually slows you down. In shit, I see him. Okay. Run him into a wall. Oh no! Oh, you son of a... Give me a nitrous. Get... The AI does not mess around, even on the beginner courses. Like, you gotta... You got Really? Mm. See, if I could have knocked him out, I didn't have enough turbo. I should have just tried to sacrifice myself. I should have done that and, you know, tried to get him into the wall. But I was trying to just flat out race and it didn't pay off for me in the, in the long run. <sighs> okay, well, I still don't have a lot of money. I think I need like 18000 to get the car that I need. Um, I can do a... So that was a head-to-head. -head. Oh, let's do a... Let's do an actual takedown mission because this one is focused exclusively on... Um, or not takedowns. Um, knockdowns, I think they call them. It's the same track as the first one, but we still want to... I still want to play this just because I like this mode. And I'll show you some other... Uh, I'll show you a different path right at the beginning here. So there's a three-way split right up here. I can go to the right... Or I can... Oh, there's a bunch of them! Yeah! 
jeez. This is fast. Get under control. I can't see with you in the way. Okay, you're going to run into me, though. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I just got wrecked. Alright, calm down here. There's a lot of chaos that happened in those, like, ten seconds. Alright, so we're going to try to... Okay, we need a nitrous tank. Oh, I see a car. And he's going to be toasted. And if I can help it, so is this guy. Oh, it's so good. This is why I like Burnout. This is why I like takedowns in racing games. Burnout 3, that was like the best invention that they ever did in Burnout 3, just focusing on these takedowns. Okay, I just passed a car, which is unfortunate, instead of ramming him. Uh, I think I see one going around the corner up there. Let's get this nitrous tank. I don't want to use the nitrous, but i got to catch somebody here. I want to earn... And you do like this double boost thing, like if you tap it at the right time, you're actually going to get more boost. Alright, we're going to go up here. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, let's do this little roll, because that's going to give a more nitro boost. We're going to go oncoming traffic for a little while. Okay, I'm not seeing any... Here we go. I was going to say, it's kind of being little empty of actual cars. Oh, oh, come on. Okay, yep, that's good. Yeah, okay, don't oversteer. Down our middle path again. Oh, I see him up here. Hit him. Yeah, there we go. It's all about the takedowns and the speed and the great. So fun. Can I hit him? No, I'm not going to catch him, I don't think. Oh, I did! Beautiful. All right, man. That was a good run. That was a really good run overall. I did one crash. Oh, I'm still going? I thought we were done. Shit. I thought it with that little thing flashed up, I thought we were done. I could have played that a little better. Because now I'm there's no boosts. I've got a... You lose? What do you mean you lose? I killed during that. I still didn't get the requisite amount. You lose, but I still got three stars. Whew, all right. Um, let's do, so those are ones I've already done. Is this a Tokyo one? Um, so we'll do a few here. Yeah, Tokyo. Show you guys a few different track types. So this game is also divided into seasons. So this whole grid that I'm on is season one. And I just unlocked, is if you get enough stars, you can unlock the next season. And I unlocked it. Problem is I gotta get, oh geez. I gotta get more um, money to upgrade and buy cars because I, I can't really do much. I can play a couple of the tracks, but I can't uh, do much with them because I just don't have the performance I need. 
And it is really hard to talk and play this well. Um, I'm lucky I weaved through as much crap as I did. I mean, look at the graphics in this, though. I mean, you get the reflections, you get the particles, you get... Uh-oh. No, don't hit this middle. Okay, hit it. Come on. Oh, there's a chunk of them here. Come on. I've got to ram somebody. Yes. There we go. Yes. That is what I require. Going through oncoming traffic. Messing up two cars. Gorgeous. Oh, and wrecking myself. Not quite so much what I intended, except for these guys passed me now. Oh. Oh, you're gonna pay for that. You're so gonna pay for that. Oh, and we're in a... I don't... I don't know about, uh... Where in Tokyo you're going to find such tunnels, but hey, there's no walls, so I can't really do much to hurt him. But if I... I really got to concentrate on this guy up here. Looks like he's second, so we're, we're not doing too bad as far as place. But I need nitrous. Here we go. Oh, no, we don't need that. I saw... Okay, we got a near miss. Oh, I missed those nitros. Hey, you're trying to hit me, bub. Now, if you want, like, just sheer speed, man, I mean, I don't know if I've ever really seen a frame rate hitch playing this. I mean, it was just stupid fast. I see him up there. But I'm out of nitro. He took some other alternate route. I know we're getting right up toward the end up here. Getting close, but I'm not. It's not going to be good enough. Oh me! Oh, oh, maybe. Come on, you bastard! Come on! No! I was fighting with him. I should have just tried to pass. I was trying to rub, hoping he would like smack into an oncoming traffic or something. And I think because of, yeah, I got oh, freaking me. I could have got gold. I think if I would have played that a little differently. Fun race, though. So you've seen Tokyo. Um, that's the main areas that I've gotten to. Let's see. Do I have a car that'll handle this? I do. I think this might be another course. Another track. Yes, okay. Oh, what is this track? Uh, I've looked at this once before. Um, there's a London track that's pretty fun, too. There's a London track in the second season that is pretty crazy. Now, this track is almost sort of... Oh, jeez, it's so chaotic. With the lighting that it's almost hard to see. Come on, down, you bet. There you go. Rick. Come on. cobblestone here. Can I ram him? Alright, we're just gonna keep on going on this overhang br or this bridge. Okay, we're going pretty good. Okay, I think this might be elimination, maybe. Oh jeez, I seen that coming. That was not a good thing. Okay, let's. Oh, I see him up there, I think. Yeah, that crash was not a, that was not good. I need 
the boost. Okay, seventh. F you, buddy. I said. Mm. Yes, there you go. Into the guardrail. Son. Whoa. That was fast. Look how fast this is. The sense of speed is ridiculous. On this track, I don't know this one very well, so I'm just kind of cruising. But okay. Uh oh. Okay, what path is this? Okay, we got a hard right. Hard left. And another hard right. Yeah, this so reminds me of like burnout in the best possible way. Like this is honestly, this has kind of quelled uh, my urge to play burnout a little bit just because like, it's really close. Like, oh, how did I hit that? Shoot. And that's gonna cost me because if any little mistake, Okay, we're fourth. I gotta at least get third. I gotta stay cruising enough to survive. Ah. Oh no. I'll call you later. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, resume. Yeah, yeah, of course. Alright. Well, that just... Yeah, see, I got eliminated. I probably would have survived if... Oh, it is such a bummer. I was literally seconds away. And I thought I totally forgot to put this on Do Not Disturb. But I got second, or I think second. Let's do one more. Let me see if I can find a London track. So here's season two. Ah, let's see, what track is this? Is London, here we go. Let's finish off with this one. You get to see some tracks, you get to see some takedowns, you get to see um, just the sense of speed. Um, you know, as long as the free-to-play stuff doesn't super get in the way, um, I'm okay. Because the gameplay in this is just very, very fun. Okay, so, alright, yep. Let's do that. Oh yeah, ram into me, that's awesome, because that's... Yes! Oh, really? Alright, I gotta catch this guy. Come on. Interestingly, that was a work related call, and I'm doing this on a weekend, so... I have no idea why she'd be calling. That's interesting. I don't know if it was like an accidental dial or. Oh man. Oh, I saw one another. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn, you got two guys that are smashing into me. I didn't even smash into them. <laughs> I'm like, I need another takedown. And what happens? Two guys run smack into, into my rear end. Oh, I missed that. I missed that nitro. But we're doing okay, I think. We're doing better than I did. I think I have this car upgraded enough. Because I don't... When I tried this earlier, I don't think it was eligible. Get this ramp. Hit him. Really? Okay, good. I was going to say, really? That did not take him down? Makes me very upset. I think this is a two-lap race, too. In the first area, it's mainly been one lap. Woo! Jump the bridge! Oh! Come here, buddy. 
Come here, buddy. You are so mine. You are so mine. Oh, can I do a mid-air land? Oh, can I land on his head? Land on his head? No! But I'll take that guy down. And that guy. He does! No! Then I wrecked myself. I had too much speed going right into that corner. Okay, lap two. Lap two. We're, we're doing it here. Yeah, look at the... I mean, the racing in this is just... fun. I'm so glad I discovered this game. And I am definitely going to be on the lookout for Asphalt 9. Uh, like I said, I just really hope that the free-to-play and the microtransactions and, you know, monetization stuff just doesn't fully get in the way. Oh. You're supposed to be taken down. Oh, God. Okay, he flew. See, that's, I was going to say, that might have slowed him down a tad, but this is a totally different part of the track. I didn't go here last lap. So we're on a different route. Oh, they're passing me. See, I need to upgrade my car again. Actually, I just need to... Oh, jeez. Okay, knockdowns, that's good. Okay, we got this guy up in front of me here. He's in my sights, so if I can... Oh! Oh, I almost hit that wall. Okay, can I hit him hard enough? Can I... Okay, we're gonna make a right. I think that's where I got sandwiched before. Okay, we need this nitrous tank. I'm gonna hit this ramp. Oh no, this is where I biffed it before, because I was getting greed. Uh oh. Okay, yeah, hit me, so then I get boost. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice mid air. Beautiful. Okay, and then I got a. All right. Yes, get him, Fricker. <laughs> yes. Oh, there's three laps. Okay, man, this is this is intense, you guys. This is fun as hell. Is what this is. Okay, we're gonna go down the tunnel again. Wow, I literally took like three dudes out right at the end. I was fighting because I thought it was the last lap. I didn't look how many laps it was. All I can do is, I, I can't pay attention to the HUD at all. I am just staring at the road in front of me because that's all you can afford to do. Give me nitrous, thank you. We gotta keep it going because any side. Uh, there's two of them! Alright, you bastards. It's on. It is on. Oh, man! Come on, I gotta hit somebody. I gotta hit somebody. It's doable. I just gotta stay with them. Look for some boost to recharge or get a nitrous thing or whatever. Okay, we're gonna hit this. Get some air. Okay. Get that. Okay, I don't exactly know where they are. Okay, we're gonna hit that. Yep, jump the bridge. Get him! Oh, there's two of them right here, and I can't... 
Land on his head. Land on his head. Come on. Alright, suck it. Oh, I'm not gonna catch this guy. I'm too. Oh, man. Wow. I still did badly, but it was really fun. No stars, fifth. Um, I, I mean, look at that. As fast as I drove, I still didn't even get in the top three. That's insane. I still didn't even get in the top three, and I was... You know, back and forth, back and forth, fighting. I mean, I th you know what? I think even though I didn't really win, that is a great place to end this video because it was a long race. It was well fought. You got to see some takedowns. Um, that is really some, I, I think, couldn't be a better example of why I like this type of arcade burnout style racing game because dang it's fun um but that is asphalt 8 airborne it is available for android ios and even windows 10 in the windows 10 store so if you want to use a controller you can do that also on ios or android but you can also use a gamepad on Windows 10 I might try the Windows 10 version just to see but I honestly want to play this because it plays reasonably well I want to play it mobile just because then I can play it anywhere you know I can play it on my couch I can play it uh, you know if I'm at a friend's house or something and I want to just kick back and play a race or something um, this is an example of hey I'm glad I have basically a portable burnout at this point um, once you get past getting rid of the ads, um, I don't know what the progression is going to be, how much grinding you're, you're going to have to do in order to get some of these unlocks, but um, I hopefully it doesn't get too terrible. Um, that being said, at least I'm going to give it a try. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to play this for a while because what I've played so far, the more I play it, the more I'm enjoying it. So it is free to play. You can try it out for yourself. There are some low vision-y aspects with some of the lighting in some of the levels. And if you do have trouble, you know, just managing something moving at this ridiculous speed, that could be an issue, but you have different camera angles, you know, your typical third person view and your first person view. So you have those. Um, the menus, I definitely would play this on a tablet or a computer. Not so much on a phone if you're low vision because that would just be way too hard to see and keep up with. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys again later.